Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Long Dark. My name is Weasel, and today we're going to check out the new update 388 of the Sandbox. And it's been a while since I last played. I checked out the interloper difficulty. Okay, don't don't hang out with me, Bert. That's fine. Uh, I checked out the interloper difficulty. I died. It was not a good time. I tried my luck on Stalker. I died too. So let's let's try Stalker again. And this time I will be smarter about my choices. Hopefully surviving in a new region, which is called Forlorn Muskeg. Uh, for advanced players, frigid open marshland bisect by a railroad rail railway line. You're you're literally the worst, Wheatley. Come here. Here, have a sunflower seat. Come on. Come on. Here. You're literally the worst. All right, let's join in the new map. Let's uh, see how long we can survive there. Hopefully long enough. Okay, let's see where we're spawning. Oh, great. Oh, it's oh five hours of darkness left. That's a great time to spawn. That's exactly what I need. Oh, fantastic. Okay, cool. So I'm going to be starting to collect some sticks because I might need to make a fire soon if it's it's probably really cold. Minus 24. That's lovely. Ah, uh, good, good times. So where am I? What's going on? This, okay, this is ice. Looked like some solid plates. I see some fallen over trees. Um, I'll, hmm, I honestly don't know where I am. I gotta be careful because there's weak ice that can, where you can break in and, you know, slowly freeze to death while you're soaked in water. Yeah, there's nothing quite as good as, you know, getting hypothermia from falling into freezing water while you're trying to survive. It's an extra little bit of uh, action that you need. At least it's kind of bright in here right now. So that's good. What happened to that poor tree? So I'm trying to find any kind of landmark. Anything I can orient my... Oh! Is that a shed? Because if it is, that's going to be very lucky of some sort. I need shelter. That's probably the most important thing in general, in any sort of a situation like this, it's gonna be that. Anyways, I haven't even talked about all the updates. Many, many, many improvements have been made. There's actually two regions since I last played. This one of the new ones, and I forgot what the other one is called or where I can find that. Never mind, it's not shelter. These are just trains that have crashed. That's good. I mean, still some sort of shelter, I guess. Oh, too dark. Okay, plastic containers. Let's see. Nope, nope, chocolate bar, I'll take it. I'll also take the reclaimed wood so I don't have to harvest any. And a little bit of wood I can carry around. Oh! Wilderness Kitchen! The only gal you ever need to cooking on a campfire. Improves cooking skill by 10 points. Yes, you see, right? If you haven't watched any other series, this is a new thing. Um, skill books. They're actually quite interesting. Ooh, matches. Fantastic. Okay, we got coal. Uh, a rifle cartridge. Wool scarf. The clothing system is also very interesting. We're going to look into that as soon as I start a fire, and I think it's a good idea to actually start one right now. We're just going to camp it out if I can get it started. Oh, I don't have tinder. Oh, I should probably make some uh, uh, tinder then. Actions with the wood. I'm going to harvest that real quick. It's going to take us five minutes. And I'm already numb. I can't feel my feet. Well, you you don't need and We're not going to walk anywhere right now. You're just going to have to make a fire, so. Okay, accelerant, reclaim wood sticks. Okay. That a high chance of success, which I'm gonna go with. Screw it if it costs me an accelerant. I don't wanna start freezing now. I don't wanna be out there. Okay. Lots of interface changes have been made, as you can probably tell at this point. Um, coal. Hmm. Should we fr yeah, let's add some fuel. Oh wait. Oh, it needs to be uh, burning for a while. That makes sense. Well, <laughs> don't throw that in. Reclaim wood. Yeah, let's add that. Uh we're gonna keep those. First aid kit is empty. Um, I might actually take... Actually, I'm going to throw a stick in. Add fuel and take a brand. Cool. We have a nice little brand so we can see something. Uh, not that there's a whole lot to see right now. I wonder how long this is going to burn. I'm so cold, I'm warming up again. No, you're not. I do like being able to carry around that. But yeah, we're not going to be able to see a whole lot. I'm going to grab some sticks. Oh. Did you just drop that? Like, you know, like a microphone? Because that's what it looks like. You know, mic drop. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of changes. Also, visually, the game has been improved. They added and, and revamped a few areas and things. And I think the light, I already talked about that the light has been improved by quite a, uh, quite a bit. Okay, plus seven. It's going to burn for a bit. I would love to add some fuel, but I might just have to... Oh, melt some snow. That's a good idea. I should do that. Uh, making sure that we're not going to run out of this. Two liters. Yeah, that works for me. Feels like minus 10. What? It's not warm enough? Damn it. Okay. Add fuel. 
Oh, good idea would also be to look... Okay, it feels like minus five. To look at the new scarf. Uh, this is our new clothing system, by the way. As you can see, you have several slots now to add things. And here I can, for example, add the scarf around my head like this. And then I can wear two scarves, which is actually kind of nice. Uh, it gives you an idea about how fast you can sprint with it, what, you know, all the values are, and how it affects you. Which makes that actually quite an interesting... Um, mechanic i think really improves that whole thing feels like 11 that's good okay i can i can work with this how long is this gonna burn for one hour and 18 minutes um let's boil some water let's boil two liters of water let's see how long that yeah it doesn't take too long that seems rather fair yeah we're warming up nicely um we have like four hours of darkness left i can screw it i'll add those sticks just to keep it burning a little bit longer and eh, am I gonna melt more? Not for now. I have two liters, which I'm fairly happy with. But I'm actually going to research while in this kitchen. How about we research it for one whole hour? Yeah, it warms us up nicely. I'm gonna have to spend like five hours researching this. Yep. And it also goes towards a perk. Oh, wait. We have more coal? How did I not see that at first? Perfect. I'm gonna add another fuel there for it. And I'm going to melt two more liters of snow. Fairly well rested. That's good. I want to use the time as best as I can to get that going and then boil it. Fantastic. Feels like 33. I'm probably going to be very thirsty. I should not be standing that close to it. As much as I appreciate that. Uh, quick look. Feels like 22. Man, this thing must be hot. I guess the coal does that. Okay. Uh, we're going to be passing some time. So rather, research. Yeah, let's research that for two hours. The fire should be out at that point. Yeah, the fire's out. Which is okay. Which is okay with me. Let's drink something and then we're gonna head out. And check out the rest of this area, which I'm really hyped about. Yeah, it's, it's foggy. It's a morning fog. So I can see jack shit. I need a landmark, and I'm gonna say that the railroad tracks are pretty good rail, uh, uh rail mark. Mm-hmm. They're a pretty good landmark to follow. Makes it fairly easy. We're just gonna keep walking alongside these. And whenever I see something off to the left or the right, I will follow it. I have no idea how big this map is. I have never seen it before. Nor do I have any idea what I can find here. You know, apart from this thing that I now had. Also, water that breaks all the time. Because I fell into the water in the short recording session I did before. And then I died. It was a good time. It was a good time. And I would, you know, always do that. You might be wondering where the bird is. He's just complaining in the... Oh, it's a bear. It's a bear. Oh, that's, that's great. I don't really feel like dealing with this bear. So I'm just going to run around him. Just to be on the safe side. Hey, buddy, you stay there. Uh, we don't need to interact. I'm pretty happy where I am. Ooh, I see old man's licking. 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 Lichen. I think lichen. People kept telling me it's lichen. So, I'll just call it licking. Because I never listen to what anyone says. True rebel here. True rebel. Okay, I'm gonna need some sticks for any upcoming fire. There's... I want to say there's literally no reason to not pick them up, but there is a reason. If you're like over encumbered, you wouldn't want to want to pick them up or add more, or if you have really no use for them because you have so many other fuels. You want to join me? Come on, come on, Wheatley, join me, join me on this glorious conquest. Come on. There you go. That kind of worked out. I have a bird. Be aware. Keep your distance, bear. I have a bird. You do not want to deal with the weed bird. The hell beast. The feathered hell beast. Okay. So... Hmm. I wonder for how many people this is actually a face reveal. <laughs> uh, I always go on and off with webcams. It's... It's not so much that I have a very strong preference, as you might be able to tell at this point, because I just switch back and forth between uh, using a camera and not using a camera, that it's hard to tell. I just... Sometimes I use it, and this is more a thing because it was requested. Also, it's a series where I did that for most of all the series. But I do like to play games without having to worry how my silly face looks. 
Because my, my, my face... My, my face is not a thing that should be on display all the time. And it doesn't necessarily add a whole lot to certain games. Strategy games especially. This is... I think special, especially strategy games like RimWorld, I, I don't see a reason. I tried like two episodes of that with face and it, it just fell completely wrong. And it really added nothing to it because you're just, you're staring at the screen, you're focused. And I don't know if a reaction uh, really adds a whole lot to that. Hmm. This game needs VR. If this game gets proper VR support, I might actually have to splurge for a Vive or so. But then again, a Vive... Ridiculously expensive. Just ridiculous. And then you also need the room, which I think is even the worst thing. Oh, cool. What did we find? We found the connector and I'm freezing. Yay. Well, if this brings us to Mystery Lake, that'd be pretty swell. As much as I want to explore this region, I wouldn't mind being able to stay alive because that's kind of the goal here. So if this brings me to Mystery Lake, Forlorn Musk. Okay, let's see. And either either it's gonna bring us to a connector, a map in between the different maps, or we're gonna be directly in Mystery Lake. Oh, they opened it up! Yay! Rail tunnel! Yeah, I know where we are. I should be able to make it to the Trapper's homestead and camp office and all that good stuff. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna grab those feathers. Oh, a hunting knife. Oh, lucky day. I can now carve up some corpses. Corpse carving. Carving over dust corpses. Okay, what's that over there? Is a metal box? I will take that, sir. Uh, should I go or should I stay? That's what the Ramones asked. Was it? I don't freaking know. I'm horrible. Somebody's probably going to cringe so hard because I might have just that screwed up that reference so hard. Should I stay or should I go? Um. Which, by the way, I didn't even know what that song was about until, like, half a year ago when I actually, like, sat down for a moment. Like, let's listen to these lyrics, actually, rather than just listen to the chorus. Okay, I'm going to go to camp office first before I go anywhere else. And I, th I feel this is a little bit more dense. And I think they changed the rocks. I'm always imagining every single time I come back to this game, I was like, oh, this is, this is different. They changed that, didn't they? Yeah, they, they totally did change that. Um... I wouldn't mind seeing in the future, uh, after the story mode, because the story mode is what I'm really looking forward to right now, um, and I'm most excited about. What I would love to see in this game would be something like a random generation, random map generation to a degree, not not 100% random, obviously, but just just giant forest maps, and you know, give you more opportunities to actually survive uh, without finding matches. You should be able to make a fire without matches. I know it's an artificial way to make the game more difficult, but I kind of feel in a game that is all about survival, you should be able to get tools given to you that you could use in a situation like this. And even if it's rubbing together two sticks, that should work fine if you find them inside a house and they're dry and whatnot. That, that should work just fine. It just should just take way longer. Anyways, we're gonna go to camp office, which is right around the corner. Those are not, this is not coal. But usually I can always find some sticks here, which I'll just grab, because why not? Just leaving them behind would be silly. And we're good. Camp office, yay! My favorite place in Mystery Lake, because there's always some good stuff laying around. And in we go. Uh, it is stalker difficulty, so depending on the difficulty you play, stalker being the... Uh, one below interloper, so the most difficult, balanced one, I want to say. Ooh, wilderness kitchen. I don't think I already had that. Um, being one of the more balanced ones, um, the most difficult when it comes to balance. Ooh, a fire striker. Lucky me. That's good. I can use this. Um, I don't know where I was going with the map difficulty. I wanted to say something about it, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Difficulty changes how much things spawn. I have actually net not played the easiest mode. I was it called Pilgrim uh, in this uh, game yet. Just, I don't know. It didn't exist when I started playing it. And once you've been playing this game for a while, Pilgrim is way too easy. Uh, it, is, it is more of an exploration mode, and I really like that it's in there. But holy moly, they just, they just like, cake you in survival items and food. You just... You really have to try hard to die in that one. All right, workbench. 
Um, let's see if I want to make something. I kind of am thinking of doing the old man's beard wound dressing. Just to have one on hand because it just basically pimps, pimps my uh, uh, bandages. I should do that. Torches, not interested. Snares, not interested. Hooks, blah, blah. I could make a fishing tackle. It's actually a good idea. Ten minutes. Um, and I'm not freezing, slowly warming up. That's okay. With 10 hours of daylight left, I'm gonna grab that lantern. Oh yeah, all these first-person integrations are also um, part of the updates. Now that I see it, I've been reminded. As you can see, uh, yeah, you have a better first-person presence. You still don't have feet, that's okay. But many more items and uh, things you do in the game actually have a visual interaction to it. Um, ooh, running shoes! I can destroy those because running shoes are horrible. They're probably great for sprinting, but I'm gonna be way too cold and I'm gonna freeze my little toes and nobody would want that. Ugh. One of the worst things when you're freezing cold is the feet, I think. I... <laughs> that reminds me when I was uh, drinking, what is it called? Uh, Glühwein. Um, mulling wine, I think is what you call it. Uh, with neighbors outside. Uh, right in front of the door, and I was wearing sneakers because I didn't have winter shoes because Fuck, I never bought winter shoes because why would I need them? I never went outside or something like that Um, yeah, I'm not gonna wear those. Those are just plain horrible. I'm a little bit faster, but I can harvest them Which I will do Um, for some leather so I can repair something else. Anyways, I was uh, otherwise well packed And I didn't even realize how cold my feet got when I came in. They were like I don't want to say blue, but they were definitely not flesh colored anymore, and I just had to put them in a bathtub. And I don't know why I didn't feel it, but they hurt like hell when they warmed up. It was a, it was a good time. Um, so I wonder if that helps like with ten points overall. For not now, I'm not gonna worry. Uh, I'm not gonna need several antiseptics. So I'm gonna drop one. Same goes with the bedroll. I can drop that. No reason reason to uh, carry that stuff around. Uh, looking good. Oh, don't, yeah, take that with you. Oh, damn it. I wish there was a way to store that stuff better. Okay, drop that stuff. Good. Anything else up here that I might need? Nope, doesn't look like it. Uh, I should probably eat something now I think about it. Let's eat that stale, mm, stale bar. And I do have some water left. I just gotta find it. It's somewhere in here. There it is. 3.4 liters. That's plenty. That should that should hydrate me for two days, minimum. If not, I'm disappointed. Yeah, look at that. Look at the match I'm holding in my hands. Yeah, I'm I'm serious. I don't know what happened to my fingers. They look like kind of nubby, like they look kind of weird, don't they? Something something seems off about them. Awfully off. But yeah, that's that's fine. I, I don't think we need to hold this. Don't be silly. Cool. So uh, if I find some lichen, lichen. I will repair that. I don't really have a useful radio. I wonder how that's going to come uh, into use in the story mode. I'm actually kind of curious. But other than that, we are going to go and check out... Ooh, choices. Keep this cold. Wait, you're cold? Oh, you're still cold. Oh, well, that sucks for you. Because I really wanted to go back there, but I guess we can just, you know, huddle down on the bed or so. We'll do that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, if you want to see more of the long dark, uh, or if you have suggestions, ideas, comments, or anything on your mind, if you just want to, like, let, you know, like, tell me something of your deepest, darkest secrets, leave it in the comments. Anyways, I'm Weasel. I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye! Bye-bye!